platform to play this music and to carry this message. And now as we're looking at the end of this season of our lives, we're looking at uh, what kind of legacy do we really want to leave? I think the reality of this thing has, has really began to sort of set in. And the simplicity of our message has become more evident to me than ever before. I mean, it's really easy, I think, for people to, to think that our band is, is, uh, is about, uh, you know, positivity and, and uh, optimism, right? Or our band is about this self-help sort of thing, right? But here's the truth. Here's the truth. Everything we've ever preached for the last 10 years, every, every lyric we ever wrote into a song, This thing is not about control. Jake it's not about great. manipulation. It's not about political domination. Woo. The truth of this message is very simple. It is this, that every one of us in this room is a sinner who's in desperate need of a savior. Come on. Come on. Every one of us in this room has, has done everything we can to take control of our own life. And at every turn, we've, we've tended to, to break it when we take it into our own hands. I, I don't know about you, but I've tended to really mess it up when I put myself in control of my own life. And so what I did is instead of trying harder or believing in myself more because I know what I'm capable of and it's not very good, what I did with my life is I took it and I said, Jesus, it's broken, but if you can fix it, it's yours. And what happened is that the king of all creation got down on his, his knees, man, and he looked into my eyes he said, son, all I ever wanted was your everything. Yes! Yes! And I know it's not very much, but I'll take it and I'll use it for more than you could possibly imagine. So family of God, I want to tell you something very, very simple. I don't know where you came from. I don't know your opinions or your philosophies or your ideas about religion or God or, or, or whatever. But I want to tell you this, that God, he's real. Come on! And he loves you. And he loves you. And he loves you more than I can ever possibly hope to comprehend. And you don't have to take my word for it. In fact, Jesus said this. He said, I will never turn away anyone who comes to me. Amen. So you don't have to take my word for it, right? You don't. In, in, in fact, the Bible says, come and see for yourself. Taste and see that the Lord yeah. is God. Yeah. So, dreaming about where you could go to, man. The God of all creation has invited you in to know him. That's what this has all been about. So for those of you that are in this room, maybe you're desperate. Maybe you're done trying to, to figure out how to fix your life on your own. For those of you in your room that know that you don't have it all together, but you want to meet the one who does, I want to invite you, man. It's very, very simple. To simply cry out to Jesus and say, Jesus, I want you to be the king of my life because I can't do it anymore, man. We're not looking for people that have it all together. We're looking for people that know that they're desperate to save for just like me, man. This is the glory you made for Jesus.